This is Loopline. In this video I want to cover how to add custom Googles, adjust the languages if you want, and then how to do custom uh, time frames or date ranges in the custom harvester. So I actually get asked this a lot, how to do this, um, even though there's a bit on the fact about it, so decided to do a video on it. So under settings, and harvester engine configuration is where we can see our actual engines. Now, I have random things in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and just get back to the basic default engines. Um, if you do this, bear in mind that it will delete all of your custom engines. So this way I know I'm up to date, and also that's worth noting, if your engines ever stop working, Scrapebox will make changes to fix it. So like Google, when they changed their logo recently, they broke some stuff in Scrapebox because they changed markers in the page, so Scrapebox fixed it in a matter of hours. But if you didn't download the new engine file, then it will not update and Google wouldn't work past the first 100 results. There is a pop-up when you go into the harvester, not a pop-up, a tooltip that will tell you if there is a new engines file. Um, and you can go in here to import and then see the different download options and I just downloaded the default ones look at the warning before you do it on each one on uh, that sort of thing so now that we got that out of the way I'm gonna go to Google let's say I want to put in Google France so basically if I'm gonna go here in a browser and I'm gonna go to I think it's google.fr if I recall um, don't really use that much um, so I have Google France so I need google.fr so basically all I do here is I go to google.com in the query string here click on Google go to the query string and change it from google.com to google.fr. Highly difficult. Now I have Google France built in, that's it. I can go ahead and give it a display name, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a friendly display name and I'm going to add as a new engine. And now when I go into the actual harvester, let's just type in something here so we can get the harvester window open, I can go down here and I have Google France. And if I click on that, it's gonna harvest from google.fr. Now. By default, Scrapebox does have Google.com set. So this and HL equals EN, the EN there is English. It's the two letter abbreviation for the word English. So you can get the two letter abbreviations and get whatever you want. So if I wanna to go to Google.com but get only results in French, I could use the two letter abbreviation here for French, which is happens to be FR. Now I can see what the abbreviation is. I just did a two letter language code search and Wikipedia first result has them all here. Um, I can see the two letter abbreviation and I can go down here and see that for French, it is FR for English. Here we can see that it is EN. If I wanted to go to, you know, I don't know, finish, I can see that it's FI. Um, and sometimes it's the first two letters, but not always. Japanese is JA. You know, going down through here, see, um, I don't even know how to pronounce this correctly. I assume it's Komi and it is KV, so on and so forth. So I can get whatever language I want back by typing that in. And then we can combine things. So let's get that out of the way. So I can go here to google.com and get only French results or I could go to my Google France engine because right now it's going to give me results from Google France but that are in English. So I could simply remove this part altogether and that will simply return whatever Google thinks is relevant. So if I want to take it out, now I get results. I got to take out the and HL equals and the two letter abbreviation. So it looks like this. Now I'll get results back that are from Google France that Google France thinks are most relevant. Could be English, could be French, could be whatever language happens to be based on that. If I want to force only a certain language, I can type in here FR and then I get uh, Google France with um, FR French results. If you were a Scrapebox version one user and you recall going to adding custom engines here under add more Googles and you had, um, you know, Google, what we just did in the Google engine there is equivalent to doing google.fr plus fr. The plus, um, after the plus here was where we updated, this was the language and this is the engine. And in Scrapebox version two, we do it by going here to the Google string and we change the engine here and the language is under HL equals FR. So that's how I can change the language. And I could put Google France and set it to, you know, Spanish results if I wanted or whatever. So you can do that and you can adjust the display name. Just make sure you remember to add it as a new engine or update it as an existing engine. If I hit update now, I have updated my Google France engine to pull in Google.France and also pull in French results. So that is how I can change 
uh, a custom place like a particular Google engine. If I wanted to do Google, Google UK, it'd be like google.co.uk, same thing. I just go in there. So let's do it just to make this simple, google.co.uk and make sure I got it right and it comes up. So if we go in here to the engine, I can go back to my original Google engine. Remember, I wouldn't change the original. I would save it as a new one because then if you go monkeying with other things, which you don't need to, but some people will, that way you don't mess up your original engine and we we'll go back to that and go google.co.uk. And then obviously it's already set for English results, but again, I could remove that to get whatever google.co.uk thinks is relevant or I could change it to whatever I want. And then I can add this as a new engine and we'll put UK add as a new engine and there we go. Now I have that as a new engine. Now, the other thing I get asked a lot is how to do time frames. By default, Scrapebox comes with a Google 24 hour up through Google year. These are really default options here. Um, but you can also do uh, another option, which is a custom date range. So the easiest way to do that is to go to Google, and I'm going to go back to google.com, and I'm going to do, I don't know, let's just say car, and let's say I want to do 2013 something or the other. Maybe there was some event in, uh, in some city, I don't know, whatever. Go to more here, or search tools rather, go to the any time frame here and do custom range, and then I'm going to go back to you can type it in, but let's say, oh, I don't know. Let's do um, July 10th, 2013 through July the uh, 31st of 2013. And I'm going to hit go here. And then you can see I get July 10th through the 31st of 2013. Ads don't count. But then I can go down here and see whatever the car results were at that time frame. Now, what's important is I have this and TBS equals CDR. CDR is custom date range. And then we have this encoded custom date range, which basically works out to be um, July 10th, 2013 through July 31st, 2013. You can see it here uh, as it's kind of baked in there. This is the July, the 7 for July 10th, 2013. This is US date format, um, month, day, year. And then you can see here the maximum, that's the minimum range. The maximum range is seven, which is July 31st, 2013. Now you can take this format and um, create a merge file or something and then put in your own days and months and years and that sort of thing and create a custom bunch of custom date ranges if you want. But the way I always do it, if I only need to do a couple, is I just go to Google and type this in, whatever it is, click here, and I get the nice visual editor, and then they generate this for me in the result string. So going back to how did I get that, just to make sure you clearly understand it, google.com, and I'm going to go type in some... Um, search term there and I'm going to go to more and I'm or search tools anytime custom range and then pick a custom range and we'll just do May 4th through May 8th for the sake of it simplicity and then I have my and TBS equals that's generated it searches it's I see it here it's generated and TBS equals and then my date range I don't need this and TBM equals on the end it comes with it but I don't need it so I'm going to copy this here and then I'm going to go to my custom harvester and I'm going to go to google.com and I'm going to go all the way to the end here and I'm going to paste this on making sure that I picked up the whole thing including the and sign and scroll over here and we can see I did and TBS equals and then paste that in there and now I'm going to save this and we're going to call it May 4th 2015 through May 8th 2015 and I'm going to add this as a new engine. And then when I go to search for cars here and start harvesting, I can go down and uncheck the standard Google and Google France that we created and do this Google May and 2014 here, or 20, May 4th through the May 8th. And hit start. And you can see it up here. And let it harvest. And then um, my results that I get will be from May 4th through May 8th and so on and so forth. So, and you can see here's the digital trends, yada, yada, yada. Anyways, um, that is how you can do a custom date range in Scrapebox. And I could do the same thing with my google.co.uk. Um, I believe all the Google formats work the same, but probably worth going to that Google in a browser to generate the date range, just in case they stick on some other random flag. Um, 
based on whatever, plus the date ranges. I don't know. US date format is different. So I guess we just do it. Let's go google.co.uk and uh, let's do a car search. And then we're going to go to search tools and anytime. And then I'm going to go custom date range and I'm going to do second through the 11th, pick some dates here and go. And you can see it obviously uses UK date format, which is different than the US date format with a day month year. And uh, then we go and TBS equals. And we can see here in the formatting that it does look like the minimum date range. It does do day, uh, month, and year. So you are going to want to do this based off the engine that it has itself, uh, unless you know the date format and you just generate it. But uh, again, it's really easy to use the visual editor here and just grab this and then go back to my uh, google.uk, go all the way to the end and paste it on. And then now I have a custom date range. And then add this as a new engine, yada, 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 or I can update and then go back to harvesting. And so that is how you can use Scrapebox to do a custom date range and to add in particular engines and change the language of the results that you get back. Thanks for watching this Scrapebox video. For more Scrapebox videos, click the subscribe button on your screen or click the subscribe button down below.